You're presenting here uh, what looks like a very interesting study, uh, the NSABP FB7. Now this is phase two and it's a neoadjuvant therapy and in particular you've introduced neratinib. I want to ask you a little bit about that. First of all, can you tell me though what was the underlying issue that you were taking on here? What were you, what were you concerned about? Okay, so the standard of care for HER2 positive patients has been the use of the monoclonal antibody trastuzumab with chemotherapy. And the question is whether uh, that's sufficient, whether a TKI might be as good, or the combination of trastuzumab and a TKI might actually be better. And tell me, please, about your TKI and neratinib. Okay, so neratinib is an oral agent. It's taken daily. Um, it's an irreversible panherb inhibitor. What might be the attraction of using such an agent? Well, it's a very potent drug, and it's given orally. Uh, and if it can work either as well as or better than uh, standard therapy, that would be a nice advance. Now, if trastuzumab is anti-HER2 anyway, yes. why would neratinib be as well as or better than? Yeah. Is it just an option? Well, there are different mechanisms of action. And uh, at least there's a, a suggestion that combining uh, anti-HER targeted therapies may be better than single agent. Okay, so you have a quite a simple, elegant study, and you've got three study groups, is that right? Yes, we do. And they are? So it was uh, paclitaxel in combination with trastuzumab, paclitaxel with neratinib, and then the tr paclitaxel with the combination of neratinib and trastuzumab. All of those for 12 weeks, followed by uh, uh, standard AC followed by surgery with the primary endpoint being pathologic complete response in breast and nodes. And uh, the size of the number of patients? So it was 126 patients, uh, 42 patients in each arm. And what did you find? So we found that uh, by and large uh, um, in the hormone receptor positive, HER2 positive patients, that trastuzumab and neratinib were quite similar uh, in their PCR um, rates. Uh, however, in patients that were hormone receptor negative, uh, the dual therapy of trastuzumab uh, and neratinib uh, with paclitaxel uh, produced a, a higher uh, complete response rate. So in hormone receptor negative patients, you're getting a better response with both drugs. Why would that be? Well, that's a very good question. Um, one pos possibility is that uh, there's a difference in biomarkers and that, uh, for example, the hormone receptor negative patients uh, may be HER2 enriched. And that's a group of patients that may do better with dual therapy. So there's an interaction between ER and HER2? There seems to be, yes, an interaction um, between the anti-HER agents and whether a patient is hormone receptor positive or negative. What sort of clinical implications, I know this is phase two at the moment, small study, but what sort of clinical implications are you seeing beginning to emerge from this? Well, you know, one issue is, is how one might improve the pathologic complete response rate in the hormone receptor positive patients. And further, you know, whether just increasing that pathologic complete response rate really has an outcome benefit because those patients would ordinarily receive hormone therapy after their surgery. So those are questions that are unclear at this point. What's the cautious way forward then? Well, I think the cautious way is to do the studies in which hormone is added uh, to anti-HER therapy in the hormone responsive patients, in the uh, ER positive patients, and see if the uh, complete response is higher uh, than it would be in the absence of hormone therapy. Now, you're getting some experience with neratinib here. Uh, what things should doctors uh, take home from the study that you've published yeah. right now? Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of concern about the toxicity of neratinib, uh, and the major toxicity is diarrhea. And what we've learned in our study and other studies is that if intensive uh, uh, antidiarrheal prophylaxis is used, uh, that you can control that um, high-grade diarrhea, uh, and that usually the diarrhea occurs during the first cycle. Uh, beyond the first cycle, it's much more easily managed.
And from this early data, these early data, uh, how big a margin of improvement in those patients who do respond to the combination of trastuzumab plus uh, neratinib is there? What, how big is that? Well, in our study, the, uh, the trastuzumab alone in the HER2 positive hormone receptor negative patients had a 57% complete response rate, and in the combination, it was 73.5%. Uh, but again, this is a small study. It didn't reach statistical significance. But our study, like several others in the literature, uh, shows the same direction that dual anti-HER therapy in this group of patients is beneficial. So what is the brief take-home message for doctors right now? Well, I think the, the take-home message is that, one, we've made an improvement uh, with dual therapy in the hormone receptor negative patients. Uh, that there's still a ways to go and that we have to be innovative in thinking about other ways to increase that uh, complete response rate. And on the other hand, in the hormone receptor positive patients uh, where the PCR rate is roughly 40%, um, there's a lot of space to try to improve that uh, with additional agents, hormonal regimens, um, or other therapies. Thank <music> you.